It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone, welcome to another State of Survival episode at Buckle Rush Gaming. This will be the very first of many episodes on the Generation 12 Heroes. Whilst Generation 12 Heroes has been around for a few weeks, I've not been able to make any tests on them until now. This is because they've not been released in my state, nor have they been released in the PTR server. Fortunately, it has finally been rolled out to my state now which allows me to make the test and share the results with all of you. In this video, I'm going to focus on Laurie, the Generation 12 Infantry Hero. If you like my videos, please do smack the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Rally leaders, you've heard this before. As always, you are screwed. You don't have a choice. You need these heroes to win rallies and for your battle stats. However, rally leaders do not despair. State of Survival has made it possible for you to get Lorry at a discount. If you really want to know more, make sure you check out this video in the link above or alternatively, I've added a link in the description below. Thank you to the Kratos team as always for their support. If you want to know more about these heroes, check out the Discord which I've added a link in the description below. The skills that you see in game are not accurate and are misleading. Kratos team has deciphered them correctly. Before I share with you the results of my test and what are the best combinations, I'm going to quickly touch on Laurie's infantry hero skills. Her first skill, Trial by Fire. Every 5 rounds deals additional 20% damage to enemy infantry lasting for 2 rounds and also reduces damage taken from enemy hunters by 15%. Her second skill, Housekeeping. Every 4 rounds, infantry deals additional 100% damage to the target. Her third skill, Ill-Tempered. Every round, your infantry deals additional 75% damage to the target. A max lorry will give you 1720% attack and defend boost to your battle stats. Lorry is also a siege and rally hero. This will give you a boost uh, for your rallies by reducing enemy settlement through lethality by 25.7% whilst also increasing your troop rally lethality by 17.5%. Now today I am grateful for the support of the sponsor of today's video Paxify. If you want to purchase bundles at a price of up to 20% cheaper than usual then Paxify could be the answer you are looking for. I took some time and went through my expenditure over the last one year and since I've come to use Paxify, I've saved up to £5,000 using Paxify. If you're worried about the safety of your account details, then bind your account to Fun Plus, and you will never lose access to your account ever again because it can never be unbinded. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description below and start saving today with Paxify. Now, I've urged many of you in the past to avoid getting Kyle. If, if you have listened to me then you would be sitting on a lot of legendary hero fragments so let me share with you a few test results for you to get an idea on how good or bad flamethrower girl is now the first set of tests is to check out how good is Laurie's skill with only 10,000 infantry on both sides here Laurie whom is a three star colonel versus Laura whom is a general Laurie won. Laurie, whom is a three stars colonel, versus Kyle, whom is a general, Laurie won. Again, Laurie, whom is a three stars colonel, versus Kyle, whom is a general, resonated with Wako. Laurie won again for the third time in a row. You will note three conclusions on this test. 1. Laurie indeed has some decent skills. 2. Laurie's skills is still a lot better than Kyle even after the developers gave him a skills update. 3. Wacko resonated with Kyle on a 1 to 1 infantry to infantry only situation is still better. Next set of tests is to check out the behavior of Laurie when there are other heroes in the march.
it is clear that Flamethrower Girl will come out on top in most battles. Even at 3 stars kernel, the battle stats gap is already quite significant. From what I can conclude, Laurie, Ram resonated with Joker and Cody resonated with Daryl will be the best setup combination that you should use in the Generation 12 category. Finally, the last set of tests is to understand which formation is the best. Here I tested 60-10-30 versus 60-15-25. Next, I tested 60-10-30 versus 60-10-30. Finally, I also tested 60-10-30 versus 60-20-20. As you can see, 60-10-30 continues to be the king of all formation and is far more superior than all the other formations even in the Generation 12 category. Well, that's all folks. I hope you do find this helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please smack the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.